हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ सोफिया गोयल एंड टुडेज वीडियो इज लाइक वेरी वेरी एक्साइटिंग बिकॉज आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड अबाउट दिस वीडियो एंड इट इज़ अबाउट रीडक्स इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस नाउ व्हाई एम आई वेरी एक्साइटेड अबाउट दिस बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी यूजली डोंट डू लाइक वी डोंट यूजली डिस्कस दिस टाइप ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑल दो आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ सीरीज ऑन जावा स्क्रिप्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड रिएक्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन but this is something common and something which is expected but redux it is something different right and you might have faced some out of the blue questions about redux which you are not expecting in an interview so here i am covering all those questions that i have seen so far or which are pretty common everywhere and i would like to cover those kind of question in today's video but before starting i would really love if you would subscribe my channel for all these kinds of exciting videos and interview questions and knowledge that you can have gain or have to you know crack your interviews or maybe to gain better knowledge about how to work in a company and things that will help you out definitely so please subscribe the channel before starting and now without wasting any time let's start today's video so the first question about redux that is mostly asked is flow of redux often interviewers ask what is the flow of redux could you please explain now those of you who are familiar with redux might know that there are three things on which redux is mainly based one is your uh, store then is your action and then is your reducer but there is a connection between these things and we would really love to know about it and obviously without knowing this flow you would not be able to understand and implement redux uh actually this is a bit complicated i would say to understand in the beginning and i would also try to create a video on the flow of this but you would definitely need to know about this flow before uh, you know going ahead and uh, it is very important for you to understand it thoroughly and in the simplest manner so that you can explain it you know very well to your interviewer so yes this is definitely super super important and you need to know about it now the next question that comes is you might be familiar with this question obviously can we have multiple reducers now friends most of you have done it and you know you know it this is a very common thing a very common question so like can you have multiple reducers in redux if yes then there is a question how can you you know create multiple reducers or like do these reducers create different different states or like they you know combine to make it a single state or what happens around or what goes around in the background you need to know about it so yes this is also important and uh, but this is a common question i would agree that you might have already known it but still if you have not then this will be helpful now another question which is similar to this is like can we have multiple stores in redux now this is quite an unusual question but this is often asked in the interviews like can you have multiple stores and again if you have multiple stores do they have multiple states or do they represent multiple states how do you handle you know these kind of multiple stores in in redux so yes uh, some in depth knowledge is required on this topic now the next question is what is reducer in redux again friends i have told you that you have store action and reducer so obviously we need to know about all three of these so one of these is what is reducer and once a person has also asked me to write the code for a reducer which is pretty irrelevant for me but still that person asked so it would be better if you can you know just remember or memorize the code a bit uh, so yeah that can also happen but yes what is a uh, reducer now the next question is why reducer is a pure function so this is related to this why reducer is a pure function now friends i also take interviews so i would like to point out one thing here if somebody is asking about pure function it is about pure function as a javascript concept or as a concept nobody is asking about pure component pure function is different and the react pure component is different so please don't try combining these two okay so you need to know first what is a pure function and then the question comes why reducer is a pure function so it's better to you know know about this kind of stuff now the next question is why state is immutable in redux now most of you might not even know that state is immutable in redux and even it is in react also so yes of course uh, we need to understand about it like what is immutability then why state is immutable in redux uh, what are the advantages or what are the benefits of doing that 
So yes, now friends, the next question that comes is what is Redux middleware or like have you heard about middlewares in Redux? So friends, this is one of the advantages of using Redux as a library, like it provides you middlewares, which makes our lives easier, which provides, you know, a lot of benefits. So obviously if we are adding another library to our project that should be giving some benefits to us, right? So this is one of the major benefits of using Redux is middlewares. Now Redux has a lot of middlewares. So you can know about uh, some of the common ones or I will be covering them in the coming questions. But yeah, what, what are Redux middlewares? Now the next question that is related to this is again, what is the difference between Redux Thunk and Redux Saga? So friends, these are the middlewares, like these are like a few of the middlewares that Redux provides and uh, these are you know used for quite similar purpose so often people used to ask about it sometimes they might even ask you like uh, which middleware are you using in your project or like are you using uh, redux thunk or redux saga in your project and if yes which is you are using and why you are using it why not the another one for example if you are using thunk then the person could ask why you are using thunk why not saga and friends, uh, in, you know, most of our case, what happens is the project is, you know, already developed by a few people or few seniors or, you know, a few years back. And for example, they have decided to use Thung. So we are also using Thung. We are not introducing Thaga, Saga, sorry, Saga there. Okay. So I can completely understand it. But when an interviewer asks, you are not supposed to say that. First, tell them a valid reason for using Thung or Saga. Then maybe later if the person points out like so and so is the issue, maybe you could have used Saga or something, you know, then you can just, you know, have a discussion and then tell them like, okay, fine, that was already decided. So we are, we continue using that, right? But it's not a good approach to say like it was already in my project. I don't know anything about it, why it is used or something like that. So it's better to know that difference and tell them why would you prefer to use one? and why not the another or like if they are same we can use any of these it doesn't make a big difference right now friends another question that comes is how to connect react with redux okay so basically you know connection comes with a lot of boilerplate code and you need to know a bit about it not the complete code i would say but you know some knowledge of it is required and for that matter uh, it's not like you have to tell about react only like if you are giving interview on angular or view or some other framework you just need to know like how the connection works and obviously the redux is there to hold our state centrally so you know we need to provide some bridge to map that state from redux to our uh, react uh, project right so we need to explain this like how the state is moving from redux to react people often ask these questions and what are the functions that we use and you know what is the other stuff that we use so yes uh, we need to know about it and how does the connection works and how do we connect it that is pretty important here okay uh, the next question that comes is how can we access redux store you know outside a react component so accessing redux store outside a react component is like accessing the store independently and getting the state out of it now this is not a very common question or not something that is practiced very commonly but sometimes it is asked and it is like again a syntactical question so it's better if you know about it and it would be good to learn you know a few more things about Redux wouldn't it be interesting right okay now the next question that comes is how can we you know induce multiple middlewares in Redux now again friends when we introduce redux to react as i have told you there is a lot of boilerplate code there and then we need some code to connect to middleware you know to get make a connection with uh, redux middleware to our react library right so there could be one thing how to connect with one middleware and then maybe how to connect with multiple middlewares again friends this is all syntactical stuff i don't like it because this is a code that is simply outside on Google. You can just, you know, check it out and write it there. What is the sense of, you know, remembering all the code and spitting it in some front of someone. But some people take interviews like that only. So it would be better if you can remember a bit of that code. I'm not saying, you know, like to you mug it up line by line and, you know, tell them and write it up. But it would be better if you have some context of it. Like I need to, you know, wrap it in so and so. And I need to import so and so stuff from Redux there. I need to import this and this things, you know, like that. 
so it would be better if you know about it. it it might create a good impression on someone okay friends so these are my 10 questions that are mostly asked about redux and hope this helps you out if you have any other question or if you know anything else please tell me in the comment section so that it can help out other people about these questions as well and if this helped you out please give a thumbs up to this video and please share with your friends please like the video and please subscribe the channel thank you very much see you in the next video bye bye